Votec, and we're going to show off two Jeeps today. We have an LS3 swap over here, the 6L80E, with uh, every accessory known to man. Pretty uh, funky grill on there, but uh, it drives pretty nice. And over here we have Corbett. He's one of our favorite customers, and he lets us do our first LT1 build. And this is going to be the off-road test drive. In on the LT1 off-road, which we are sure it'll do just, just fine. As you can see, there's the E92 computer that powers the LT1 with the, our busman block. This is a brand new crate engine from the Corvette with the 8L90 transmission. And as far as we know, this is probably one of the first ones with the full network with the eight speed. And uh, we have tap shift working, uh, runs great, and uh, pretty happy with it so far. It's a, it is a tight fit, but uh, it's very nice. And now we'll, we'll do the off-road test. Check the cooling system on it. It should stay around 212 degrees. That's why I have it programmed too. And uh, we'll, we'll test that out in four low. Yeah, the Gen 5s have a different cooling system strategy than the Gen 4s. Essentially, you don't tell it what temperature you want at what fan percentage. You basically tell it what temperature you want, and then the fan targets that as a goal. So like a desired, a desired charge goal, an actual, it's the same thing with the fans in these Gen 5s. And let's see. We had to run a Cobra-style silicone boot to get clearance to the radiator. You can see these AC lines go down to the passenger side lower factory AC compressor. In fact, the accessories on this engine uh, are GM, except for the power steering pump, which is the original JK Pentstar power steering pump. So that's about it. We're gonna go hit the trail right now. I'll go ahead and start it up so you can hear it fire. This does have auto start. You can hear the diesel-like qualities where it cranks a little bit longer to get that fuel pressure up. We're running over 2,000 PSI of fuel pressure. We also got high compression in this engine, continuous variable valve timing, and air fuel management. A lot of technology. There is, there goes the air conditioner. You can hear the fan spin up. The fan is being controlled for AC condenser pressure and engine coolant temperature, and it's fully variable. So it's in a hot soak mode now, and you'll probably hear it cool, slow down a little bit. But we do have the AC on, so it's keeping the condenser pressure down, and then it's going to react to engine uh, coolant temperature also, as well as transmission temperature. We got an eight-speed in this one, so we're going to hit the trail. Uh, you can do the exhaust. You can go around the back. I'll run it up a few times. So you yeah. Hear what it sounds like. Thank you. 